Yo, this is it on the place, Pokemon Soul Silver. We are about to hit home. Not our home in New Bark Town, but the home of Pokemon, Pallet Town. Going south from here to Pallet Town. Here we are. The music is familiar, the place is familiar, and we are back from where we all began. Pallet Town, a pure white beginning. This is the house of Red, the main character of Pokemon Red, Blue, Green, and Yellow. And we have Blue, the rival. They are also known as Ash and Gary in the anime. Let's see if even in this house though. Hi! Red's been away. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's doing. They said no news is good news, but I do worry about him. Yeah. At least he has upgraded his uh, game to a Wii. I guess yeah, that's a good thing. Oh well, Red is not here, the main character of Red of Generation 1, but he's out there somewhere, so we'll see if we find him later on. And we have Blue. Hi, good timing, I'm about to have some tea. You'd like to join me? Or you seem to keep your Pokemon a bit on the dirty side. Grooming helps them become more beautiful and friendly. Like with the groom one? Uh, sure. Let's screw my uh, Flareon. Flareon looks good then. There you go, all done. See, doesn't it look nice? It's such a cute Pokemon. Now, having Daisy groom your Pokemon will increase your happiness, so that's a good thing. But Blue is not here either, so I guess he's not off where somewhere. We have to find though if you want to fight for his badge later on. But. We have one more place to go. Remember uh, one of the aides said that he wanted to see Professor Oak? Yeah, let's see him too. Let's go talk with him right now. Ah, Suchano! It's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine it's hard, but the experience will surely help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep it up, Sitano. So how's your Pokedex coming along? You can have your Yoto Pokedex and even the National Pokedex evaluated. So let's say you have my Yoto one. Well, let me see. You've seen 195 Pokemon. You caught 32 Pokemon. I see. You're good at this, but you have a long way to go. Okay, what about my National Pokedex, though? Let's see. National Pokedex evaluated. Let's see, you've seen 216 Pokemon and you caught 32 Pokemon, I see. Go maybe far away, but you don't give up yet. Keep going. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, so apparently Professor Oak has a gift for us after we get all 16 badges. Problem is that we need still need two more to get there. Now, in order to get those badges, we need to head south to Cinnabar Island. So, when you're ready, go in the water and let's head south. Since we'll be going in the water, it's probably not better to put um, someone else like uh, Ampharos in charge. Oh, Ampharos is taking some damage. I remember that was from the Pidgeot return damage. Guess we need to heal some bit, so Hyper Potion. Let's spend that on Ampharos to get him back to health. There we go. Let's use a uh, Repel. Because we'll be traveling in the water, we don't want to fight wild Pokemon. As we go to Cinder Island, let's go to Route 21. Oh, hey you! Will you help me with my sunblock? Don't tell me you're at a battle! Um, okay, we can battle with you. Swimmer Nikki with two Pokemon, and her first one will be Seal! Seal, the cute little seal from Generation 1. I feel what type this one is. Was it water ice? I can't remember. I don't remember if it's Dugong or if the seal also has water ice, but it doesn't matter though. It's weak electric, that's the point. And that's gonna be. A uh, taken down, care of, and seal heads down. Good job, Ampharos. Our next Pokemon will be Dugong. Now, this one is a dual type water ice, that's for sure. The evolved form of seal. Let's go with a discharge on uh, to this Dugong as well. To get rid of Dugong's powers. There we go, Dugong goes down. And we're taking care of the whole Seal family, thanks to our beloved Ampharos. I'm worried about sunburn. Don't worry. 
keep heading down. We have another trainer here to fight, but not even interested. Oh, we have to go around them. Fine, let's go around them. A lot of these paths of uh, d dark beach things. Whoa, what's so what the him? He's spinning around. Does it know how to swim or what? Gotta keep going! How about what? To spin around? Crazy. Swimmer Tyson. Yes, two Pokemon. The first will be Quagsire. Now that's a bad choice for me to have Ampharos because Quagsire, being wood and ground, is immune to the power of electricity. You can still give him a single beam, though. Not as powerful, but still doing some damage. Oh, to about half. And he's even confusing him. That's great. Good choice. Quagsire is confused. What will he do? He's gonna fight with an earthquake, and this might mean Ampharos is gonna be in critical damage values. Will Ampharos even survive this? He's weak to ground. This is a stab bonus move, but no, Quagsire will not KO Ampharos. I try Sinnoh Beam again. Let's see if it hits this time. That does it. Good job! Ampharos taking down a Pokemon that is strong to him. And Ampharos gets the victory for this one. Next up is Octillery. That's an interesting Pokemon, the uh, Octopus Pokemon from Generation 2. Evolved version of Remoraid. Ah, oh, that was not what I was to use. I forgot that this guy is a water type, of course, so he has to use something else. See if he does the damage though. Octazooka! A move that's now a physical move in Generation... Uh, in Generation 2, and I mean 4. It's the in signature ability of Octillery, a water physical move. Does him some damage, but I'll just discharge instead. I'll take care of Octillery, and Octillery heads down to the showers. Interesting fight, though. And that's with the swimmer Tyson. Ugh. So what were you doing, though, swimmer? This arrogant guy was at Cinderbus Volcano. Arrogant guy? I wonder who it can be. Guess we have to only one way to do. Find out. Cinnabars will be close. What's up with you? Bird keepers are so wonderful with your bird Pokemon. Oh, they are. Look what you are here to fight to fight me. Easton has four Pokemon. That's interesting. First will be Doduo. Interesting choice because Doduo is a flying type Pokemon, but it can't fly. Yet it's still weak to electric though, so that's their problem, not mine. Let's zap down the Dodo to size and KO it in the secret. Bye, Doduo. Okay then, what will be our next opponent? It's gonna be Dodo again. Sure. We fight one Dodo, we can go for two. We'll just do the same thing here and discharge our way to victory. And that goes for another Dodo to the going down. Well done, Ampharos. Okay, Ampharos, you have something else? Dodrio! Hmm, interesting. Well, a Dodrio will fight indeed. Well then, let's discharge and take care of three heads. Evolved form of Dodo, pretty fast, not can fly, still weak, and it's gonna go down. It's a glass cannon as it is. That was interesting though. And the last one's gonna be Dodrio number two. Two Dodos, two Dodrios. How many heads is that? That's seven? Ten heads. Yeah, two, four, seven, ten. Ten heads of birds, defeated by four discharges. Good job, Ampharos. These birds don't have anything to say about you. You have something to say about them. We beat Barkeep Easton. I couldn't handle it. Well, your problem, not mine. Let's head south into Cinnabar Island. See if we can find ourselves a gym battle here. Here we go, Cinnabar Island, we have arrived. Now where is the gym? Um... Let's notice it. The Chinnabar Gym has a recade to sea from islands? Blaine. Why? What happened to sea from... What happened to Chinnabar Island? Did something happen here or what? I feel so sorry for Blaine. He lost his gym. He lost his gym? Oh man, that's really bad. It's been a year since the volcano erupted. It's so fortunate that everyone evacuated in time. What? So you mean that the... Pokemon Research Facility and the Burned House from Generation 1, they're gone? Oh man. 
That's so sad. Luckily, Blaine survived and his gym is still up top, but now he's got his spear to see from islands. That's an interesting choice. Well, not much more we can do about that. We have to go to the sea from islands right away so we can find Blaine. Hey, look who's there! Is that one I think it is? Not silver, our rival, but it's a rival of red. It's blue! Who are you? My name's Blue. I was once the Cantor champion. Although it was short lived thanks to Red. Anyway, take a good look around you. A volcano rapture just like that, the whole town disappears. We can go winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me for real, show me how many counter badges you got. Hmm, six. You're not ready to battle me. That's right, so Blue wants to battle with you as soon as you have the other counter badges. So we need to get another badge, basically. So we know what to do, we want to fight with Blue, that would be a cool thing. But then with the battle Blue, we need to get more badges. So let's go and get the badge from Cinnabar Island. And I forgot to get my repel up. A tentacle arrives. That's not tentacool, that's tentabad. Let's just run away. And put up another repel as we head east to the Sea from Islands where apparently Blaine is having his gym. I wonder if we're gonna have a real battle because in generation 2 with uh, gold, silver, and crystal, when you were at Sea from Islands to fight Blaine. He was the only one guy there. There was no other gym. There was just a little cave with Blaine inside. I wonder if they have changed this too, or if it's still the same. We have a trainer who can't even speak, but apparently maybe it's, I don't know, drowning. So we mine with three Pokemon. The first one will be Love Disk. Interesting choice. Love Disk is a Generation 3 Pokemon. A fish looks like a, like a heart. But it's still a fish, and it's a water type, and water type. Well, meet electric type. That's gonna shock things down to size. Love this goes down. What's next for Mina? It's Love this again. Okay. I guess we can fight Love this again. Let's do that then. Let's give another discharge for his trouble. Shockingly well it is. Love this takes the damage. Will it survive? And it will not. Unfortunate Love Disc. Next one, who will it be? Love this again! Sure! Another Love Disc will fight. Let's go with another Discharge on Love Disc. But this Love Disc will do Aqua Ring first, which means it's uh, gonna recover a bit of health every turn. But how will that help you if it's gonna get killed in a single turn anyways? Not very smart Love Disc. Love Disc goes down, getting KO'd. And that means this battle is over. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate little girl. We can move on though, at least. No trainer. Look, it's my very best swimsuit and my very best Pokemon. Your very best swimsuit, best Pokemon. I wonder what Pokemon it will be. I have one Pokemon, Leona, with Beedoof. That's her best Pokemon. Are you for real? Ah, we just want to tackle him and just knock his face off. Beat of answer to amnesia. It's because it's that silly or what? Well, let's discharge this. Off we go. Now, this is what we noticed that Beat of doesn't take any special fang damage from uh, from electric attacks. That's because Beat of is a normal type, but its evolution form, Bibarel, becomes water and normal. So, being normal and goes to the water normal, that's what you do with Beat of. So Fang takes me to half health, but I'll still take it down another hit, and this battle is over. Oh! Oh! Too bad. Speaking of which, here we go. See from Ireland, somebody put a notice under sign. Summer Jin has moved here, leader Blaine. Cool, so this must be a gym inside this place then. Are you in a hurry? I'm gonna quit battle break! Okay, let's have a quick battle break. With Picnicker Adrian. It's a female. What's Shroomish? Okay, we have a little weird choice here. So Shroomish, Shroomish 
is a grass type. Do a single beam then. Hitting it on Trumish. Now we're doing some damage there to Trumish. One to KO. There we go. That's one thing I like about single beam. You can counter grass types. That's why it needs to bat. Ah, that's it! That's it indeed. Oh well, we come this far. I guess inside here we'll be finding Blaine then and his uh, gym of uh, fire Pokemon. Hopefully he still has fire Pokemon. That we can expect it, right? So in the next episode, guys, we're going to go inside the new Cinnabar Island gym located at the Seafoam Islands. We're going to battle Blaine and get ourselves another badge. When we've got that badge, we only have one more badge to get before we complete the Kanto badge collection. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's gonna be it for now. So I'll see you guys next time as my journey of Pokemon Soul Silver continues.